Welcome guys, my name is Jerry and you're watching 3D HP. I've got a lot of cool models today that I printed in my Frozen Mighty 4K and I thought I'd like to show you some of them. Some of them are finished, most of them aren't finished. One of them is mostly painted but not completely done. I'm real slow about getting stuff done. I got too many different projects I'm always working on. But let me show you my first one here. This is from Wicked 3D, Black Panther Killmonger. I haven't completely painted it. I'm still working on some parts of it. But this thing is simply beautiful. And this was printed on the Frozen Mighty 4K. And check this out. It has different heads that you can put on it. Check that out. Ain't that awesome? It's not completely done. I still got more paint work to do on it. But, and here's another headdress that goes on it. Another head. Come along nicely. I do a little work on it here and there, amongst my other zillions of projects I got going on. But this thing is so cool. And right now, it's not glued to the base or anything. And the bra the base was printed in two pieces. This emblem on the front was separate from the base, and I printed it upright. Now, of course, the bust with the arms were separate, and then all the heads were separate. This is so cool. I love this thing. Beautiful. And then I used rub and buff. I painted it black and then I used rub and buff on it on a popsicle stick because if I applied rub and buff with my finger, it'd get down in all the nooks and crannies where I didn't want it. So I used a popsicle stick to apply it. A friend of mine named Walter said, hey, use a popsicle stick, that'll work good. So I've been trying a popsicle stick. And then a few places I took a paintbrush with rub and buff and I had to touch it up. So it's not completely done, but it's getting there. Completely wonderful item there. And then also by the same company, I've got this Iron Man bust. This is really cool. And you're probably thinking, well, that's just an Iron Man bust. Yeah, but look. The face plate comes off. That is so cool. Really, really nice. I'll put a link to them below in the description where you can check them out on Patreon. Uh, I believe it's patreon.com slash wicked or wicked 3D. And uh, they, there's other places where you can buy their stuff, too, but they do have a Patreon. That is really neat. And let's see here. By Chelsea, Chaos Cortec. This is a model over on Thangs.com. Mr. Mittens! <laughs> We've got a Mr. Mittens, Bernie. And, of course, the chair is done beautifully. I printed this upright in the Frozen Mighty 4K. And Mr. Mittens was printed in this orientation. And he is hollowed, three millimeters thick. I've printed a few of these. And got this one's all painted and done. Very nice, very nice. He can kind of sit around and watch me when I work. And I've got a cool model here from Fotis Mint. I've got Yoda. Yoda has been hollowed, three millimeters thick. He's fairly heavy. And he was printed in this orientation on the Frozen Mighty 4K in one piece. He's been primed in this picture. He needs some minor touch-up sanding, and he'll be ready for paint. Very cool. Yoda, Yoda. And let's move on to Sanix. Sanix has a ton of cool models out. Sanix was my original designer that I started buying from a little over four years ago, and I buy from him quite often, and he has a really cool Patreon right now that you can subscribe to to get a lot of models. And where should I start? Okay, here's Arnold Schwarzenegger, Commando. Do you remember the movie Commando? That is very nice. Now, his gun is not glued. Everything else is. The gun is just sitting there. His rifle. Beautiful model. Awesome detail. Tons and tons of detail on this model. Very beautiful. Love that model. And then here we've got Rambo, Sylvester Stallone. And I have a separate arrow, which I have, which is right here, small arrow. Once this is painted, I'll put a string on it, thread, and then I can put the arrow on it. But yeah, I should have scaled him up a little bit. When you download these models, there are different scales you can download them at. Some are supported, some aren't. And this one, I picked the wrong file. I should have made him a little bit bigger. So it'd be equal, the same size, inch-wise, as my other models. But yeah, that Rambo came out awesome. Very cool. Let's see. 
And then here we've got the Beast from X-Men. Or I think he simply calls him Beast, but yeah. Check out the detail on this. Beautiful model. Excellent detail. And in this he's not primed in this picture. That's just a raw resin. And another thing you can do when you fill small gaps, like where I glued his uh, torso to his uh, waist, you can take resin and put a drop of resin in there with a plastic eyedropper or a Q-tip, and then take your UV light and cure it, and then lightly sand it if you need to. And then if you have larger gaps, I've seen a few streamers online now that are taking beta, baby, baby powder, and they're mixing baby powder with the resin. They mix it up real good, and they make a thick paste, and then they fill gaps in places with that, or on a rough head or a model, and then you can cure it with your UV curing station or your light or whatever you have for UV or setting it outside and then sand it down so your wet your resin is multi-purpose I'm having trouble getting my words out today so I drank a monster a little bit ago I should be wide awake but anyway yeah that's really nice let's see where are we at here okay we got x23 Laura Kinney she's like the female Wolverine. And I should have printed her a little bit bigger too, based on the size of my other models like her. She's a little too short. But yeah, it came out beautiful. And of course, from about mid-arm where she has her gloves on, down all the way down on the claws, those were printed in one piece. Then her body and her head was separate. And then her waist and legs and the core and then the base was separate also. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful model. Nice detail, nice curves. Where are we at? Um, Colossus from X-Men. Beautiful model. And I believe these are about 11 and a half inches tall. But based on her height, I think I should have made her a little bigger. Maybe, maybe she's about right, proportion right for him. I guess she's about right. But yeah, beautiful model here. And this one has not been primed either. This is a straight resin. But anywhere that I have slight gaps, like in the neck, like I can say, I'll take my eyedropper, the drop of resin, put it in there, and I'll cure it with my UV light to fill the gaps. It'll work really easy. It'll be a lot easier to use than any other kind of a filler on it. And let's see, moving on, we've got cable. Check this out. Look at the detail on this. Beautiful model. I'm leaning too close to the camera there. And his gun is also not mounted. It's just sitting in his hand. It's not glued in any way. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful model. Sanex is doing some awesome work here, his team. Beautiful work. And our next one is Cyclops. Let me back up a little bit there with the camera. Yeah, check this out. At the end here, I'll show pictures of all these. That way you can uh, pause the camera and look at them if you want. Or not the camera. You can pause your video. But yeah, beautiful model. I love these. I love all these. Wonderful. And my latest one that I just got done with today, gluing the wings on. Let's see if I can get the bases separate here. Let me get his base for him. We've got Angel. Check this out. Okay, the base is two pieces. I don't have it glued together, so I'll hold it. Check out this. This is awesome. I think this is the first model I've ever printed with wings. Beautiful model. No, there's one other one from a long time ago, but I don't have it glued together. But yeah, I super glued the wings on, and I took a little bit of resin, and I put around the super glue on the wing, and then I cured that to help hold them on because... You know, something that small in that area, they could break. But the resin plus the super glue should hold it just fine. This has been primed gray. But, yeah, beautiful model. The base was two pieces. you got the ring on the bottom, which is right here. Then you've got the base, which has been hollowed. And let's see. His two feet were separate. And then his torso. And then his forearms. His body and then his head. And then each wing was printed separately side by side at one time 
on my Frozen Mighty 4K. And the wings are done in one piece. Beautiful model. Wonderful model. And what else do I got to show you? Let's see. I got so much stuff everywhere and piled up, it's hard to remember where everything is. Oh, here's another model. This isn't done. This is not. This is from POTUS Mint. It's done in FDM. Got my flame skull here. Came out really nice. It needs to be primed. I need to do a little touch up on it, and that'll be ready for paint. That's by POTUS Mint. It's called the Flaming Skull. Very cool. But this was FDM. This was not done in resin. But yeah, if you want to check out uh, Sanix's San website here, I'll pull it up right now, and uh, Wicked 3D. Yeah, here's Sanix's web website at malix3design.com. He has a Patreon that you can join, or you can buy stuff individually. And just check out some of these models here. For instance, let's say, let's click on cable here. If you click on cable, he shows you renders of what it will look like. And it kind of gives you a color scheme to give you some ideas. And as you scroll down, it's going to show different pictures of it. And uh, this is 110 scale. It's uh, They're already pre-supported. You can support the models yourself or they become pre-supported, whether they're FDM or resin. Your choice and how you want to print them. But he's got page after page after page of, of stuff here. Lots and lots of awesome stuff here. And then lots of different photos that people send in that he shows on his site from different people. And then at Wicked, Wicked is also on Gumroad. And here's just some of their models here. Lots of cool stuff, really highly detailed. And there's more there you can load. And then if you jump over to their Patreon, it's at patreon.com slash 3D Wicked. And then on gumroad.com, it's slash 3D Wicked also. to find them there. And here's photosmint.com, his uh, Patreon. Here's some of his work here. He's just got amazing models. So many awesome designers out there making some really cool stuff. There's a few different locations uh, where you can buy photos and stuff, but you can join his Patreon. It's the easiest way to get everything. Yeah, tons and tons of beautiful models. And then here we are at Things.com. Chaos Cortec. Bernie. Bundled up Bernie. Here he is. One thing really cool about Thangs, you can take all the models on there before you download them. You can manipulate them, turn them around, see all the possible angles, zoom them in, zoom them out. Very cool. That way you see exactly what you're getting before you download it. Very nice. At Thangs.com, T-H-A-N-G-S.com. And Chaos Cortec, uh, Chelsea and her husband, have a zillion, a ton of cool things on here. So please uh, go check out things.com. It's like a Thingiverse, but they're going to be better than Thingiverse. Look at what you can do with the images here. You can see exactly what you're getting, and uh, it won't be soon, and they'll be bigger than thingies, Thingiverse. And that's about it. That's what I've been up to lately. I mean, I'm working on some droid projects. I've got live streams going on with other groups every week, and I've got all these cool things that I printed on my new Frozen Mighty 4K. Yeah, there's so many cool sites out there, so many awesome designers. So please like, subscribe, and share this video. I'd appreciate it. And so many of my viewers are not subscribers. Please subscribe. When I get to 2,500 subs, I got a ton of giveaways from some companies and individuals. So when I get to around 2,400, I think I'm a little over 2,200 now. Once I get to 24, I'll do a video talking about all the companies and the people and showing the giveaways. Then I'll schedule a live stream. And then at 2,500, we're going to give away lots of goodies to everybody around the world. Depending on where you live is, you know, we'll give away this or give away that. So thank you, everybody, and happy resin printing.